I got your address to an international search directory in my bid to find a foreign partner who would be of assistance to me. In brief introduction, I am Prince Abdul Badu, a citizen of Nigeria and the eldest son of late chief Bandu Koroma. Our country had in the past been involved in a very horrible and hostile war in which my father was a collaborator with the rebels who was killed during the war because of his inability to produce over 30 million United States dollars given to him by the Revolutionary United Front. But today, Nigeria has an active participation in the United Nations 1960 support for the anti-colonial and liberation movements. We have some clearly set direction of cultural policy, like affirmation of authentic values, cultural heritage, building up of the national element of cultural infrastructure, and establishment of links between culture and education. However, truth and evidence has unfolded matters that we saw my father's death as a sacrifice and restoration of peace in our dear country. But before my father's death during one of our visits to him, while in detention, he disclosed to us the existence of two sealed trunk boxes, which he kept the sum of 30 million United States dollars. We immediately went back home and found the boxes intact. We took to my father's advice and fled out of the country to the coastal river after days of sea traveling with the truck boxes intact. While I have a vast knowledge in Nigerian policy, I have limited knowledge in the business world, hence the reason for soliciting your assistance to please make a residence arrangement for us in the country and to make us invest in this money in the company. I have the consent of my mother, and we have resolved to give you 30% of the cash for assisting us in this transaction. Every arrangement to withdraw out of the consignment from a security company and subsequent movement into your country is guaranteed and it is high pitch and risk free shock. I await your quick response through the above phone of facts to enable me to give you further detail. <laughs> John, you're just thinking about the voting system in Nigeria. Gee willikers, Mom. That sounds swell. It sure is, Johnny. Do you want to hear about it? Absolutely, Mom. Well, did you know that the Nigerian people elect on both the legislative and federal level? Holy cow! I had no idea. That's right. They elect the president and the National Assembly. But there's something occurring way over there in Nigeria, Johnny. Well, gee whiz, what is it, Mom? The rights of the citizens to elect public figures is usually undermined. Wah, wah, wah. What? What? <laughs> you betcha. A situation where voters never cited voting cards and where voting cards without numbers were issued to voters on election day constitutes the lowest level of any electoral system. Wowza! It all starts with the local governments. They have become uncontrolled centers of corruption. Most local government chairmen and counselors are accused of only paying staff salaries and sharing the rest among themselves. That's crazy talk! Over the years, the country has seen its wealth withered with little to show in living conditions of the common man. Wah, wah, wah. Those greedy dirtbags. But you know what, Johnny? What, Mom? 
it isn't just the local government that is seen as corrupt. The national and state assemblies, municipal governments, the political party leaders, and the federal and state executive councillors are as well. With all this corruption, the voting system is one hunky-dory mess. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, you do all dandy. That's insane! The Nigerians are trying to change all of this with a new voting system. But that's going to take a while. That's all you need to know about that now, Johnny. Thanks, Mom. I want to play baseball and hopscotch with the neighborhood pals. Oh, Johnny, don't get hurt. <laughs> Gosh, Mom, I'll be fine. See ya, Johnny. Thank you so much. Tomorrow, we're going to have a very famous person. Oh, you, hit, you know your redneck is. Your Jeff Foxworth. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. Remind me to get all grass skills. Remind me. Jeff Foxworth. Oh, beautiful looking. She is uh, on the hunt for some man. All right. So, thanks for being with us so much. Thank you for learning about my cheer family. Anyway, I'm Elena. And I'm Skittles. And we will see you tomorrow on Go Party Decatur. I'm not a diva. I'm not, 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 I'm not. Na na na, diva is a female version of a hustler. Of a hustler. Of a hustler. Na na na, diva is a female version.